Big news in the field of science today. Scientists working in collaboration from Temple University and the University of Nebraska Medical Center have completely eradicated HIV DNA from living mammalian systems. In other words, they done cured HIV. And they did it by using a combination of antiretroviral therapy with CRISPR technology. Now, I have talked about CRISPR and HIV in tandem quite a lot in the past. I've mentioned scientists using CRISPR as a potential cure for HIV way back almost a year ago when scientists published research results that utilized CRISPR technology to delete the gene CCR5 from white blood cells that HIV used as a doorway for infection. But this time around, we've actually got some scientists that are looking to use CRISPR not to delete the receptor protein on the white blood cells to make them immune to HIV infection, but rather to use gene therapy to completely remove HIV DNA from an HIV positive patient. And that is super exciting because that is by and large what makes HIV so difficult to deal with in the first place. For those of you that don't know and want a very, very brief lesson in HIV science, HIV is a retrovirus, and more than that, it is a lysogenic virus. That means that HIV actually incorporates its DNA into the host DNA. We typically think of infections as some kind of parasite that lives in your body, and your job as the host is to kill whatever parasite is inside of you, and then you are cured from the disease that it was causing. Well, HIV works a little bit differently because as a lysogenic virus, HIV actually incorporates its DNA inside of your genome. It essentially integrates itself and becomes a part of who you are. You have DNA that makes up your entire body. HIV, the actual virus itself, has RNA. RNA being DNA's kind of close cousin. And HIV also contains special enzymes called reverse transcriptase enzymes. Their job is to reverse the process of transcription. Transcription is a biological process where DNA gets converted into RNA, and then RNA can actually carry the genetic code of you to your ribosomes to make your proteins. All of this is probably the most important thing that you were supposed to learn in your ninth grade biology class. It, for a long time, it was considered the central dogma of biological science. Today, scientists are trying to push away from using the word dogma because it sounds a little bit egotistical. But nonetheless, it is super important. DNA makes RNA, makes proteins. That is how you became you as a human person. HIV contains RNA. In order for HIV to integrate itself into you and become a part of you are, HIV needs DNA. Reverse transcriptase is the enzyme that HIV uses to turn its RNA into DNA, and then the DNA gets integrated into your genome. And so what are the long-term consequences of this? Well, if you are HIV positive, that means that you contain HIV DNA as part of your genetic makeup. That's why you can't ever completely get rid of the virus. Today, we can give people who are HIV positive antiretroviral therapy. We can give them special medicines called protease inhibitors that block HIV proteins from being able to actually function properly. I've mentioned this before in one of my very first videos that I did, but basically the idea is, is that it stops HIV from being able to produce new virons. And so what that means is that over time, as you take antiretroviral therapy, your viral load count will go down. And once it gets low enough, you become undetectable. And you might have heard this thing called undetectable equals untransmittable. Once you have an undetectable level, you can no longer transmit the virus to other people because you are not producing the virus. You are not actively making the virus. The virus is not circulating your body. You can't pass it on. That is kind of cool because that is reducing the rates of HIV transmission. But if you are an HIV positive person and you ever stop taking your antiretroviral medication, your body will start producing HIV again. And the reason is you still have the HIV DNA in you. You can't get rid of that. At least you couldn't so far in life. Now, for those of you who remember what CRISPR is, it was a bacterial immune system that essentially allowed bacteria to create a memory bank of viral infections from the past and then use CRISPR-associated proteins known as CAS proteins to target those viral DNA strains if they ever infected the bacteria again and then cut them up. Scientists, however, have been manipulating these CAS proteins, most famously CAS9, 
and they learned that by creating guiding RNA sequences, you can essentially tell these proteins to go to any DNA that you want and create cuts, so long as it's near a protospace or adjacent motif. And so here's the hypothesis in a nutshell. If you have this DNA cutting protein that can be targeted to virtually any DNA sequence you want, scientists ask the question, well, what if we targeted this protein to HIV DNA, the viral DNA in the host? And this preliminary study has shown yeah, you kind of can. Now, one of the senior investigators on this study, Dr. Howard Gendelman, the director of the Center for Neurodegenerative Diseases at the UNMC, describes how in order to actually make this CRISPR treatment effective, it needs to be combined with antiretroviral therapy. If you try to CRISPR out the HIV DNA from an infected patient who is still actively producing HIV virus particles, well then the virus is going to continue to infect more and more white blood cells. And you might be able to see how you're going to run into a problem. If you're constantly cutting out HIV DNA, but then HIV is constantly inserting new DNA, you don't get cured. But if HIV replication is suppressed in a patient and they are not actively producing the virus, suddenly this becomes a much more feasible option. So the scientists in this study actually used a more newly developed form of antiretroviral therapy called laser art. And as cool as that name sounds, it actually has absolutely nothing to do with lasers. It is actually just long-acting, slow, effective-release antiretroviral therapy. But laser art is actually a pretty cool concept that slowly releases inhibitory drugs over time within the body so that a patient would have to less frequently utilize antiretroviral therapy. Basically, it takes the drugs and packages them inside of these nanocrystals, and then the nanocrystals get targeted to these tissues where they are needed, and then they slowly over time release the drug. The cure to HIV is probably going to be one of the greatest scientific achievements that will make worldwide news that will probably happen in our lifetime. And so all of this exciting research that's getting us closer and closer and closer and closer to those steps is really awesome. Thank you guys for watching and stay inquisitive.